Hello, 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 and welcome to Task 22. I believe it's been a fabulous journey for you all so far writing your SLR paper. I'm very curious to know how many words have you written so far in your SLR paper. Please leave a comment below so I know. I want to know how useful this series has been for everyone. Okay, coming to today's topic. Today we are going to start another subsection of your introduction and that is on motivation. The section on motivation. But why is this subsection important? The motivation subsection outlines why you are doing this research or this SLR paper. It gives the reader a clear understanding of why you want to do this research. It also helps you as a researcher or a writer to understand what you are trying to achieve through this research and put boundaries around your work. It will also help you to scope your writing very, very clearly. Before I start explaining today's task, if you are new here, then check out the task of the day series where I teach you how to write a systematic literature review paper in a step-by-step -step manner. It is completely free and it will make you a successful and a confident researcher. Check the playlist on the top. All right, in today's task, I want you to study the motivation subsection from the five SLR papers in your collection. You need to do two things here. First, read all the five SLR papers and study their motivation section. Copy that and put that in your Word document and read it carefully and study how they have written this section. Remember, some papers may not have a dedicated subsection on motivation and it may be written just as part of the paragraph in the introduction. So you may need to read the paper carefully to find this section. This is the first part of your task. The second part, I want you to write 8 to 10 sentences which outline the motivation for doing this SLR paper or your SLR paper. Try to convince the reader why you are motivated to do this research. Make it convincing both for the reader and also for the editor. And keep it to 150 to 200 words long. Today, you will be one more step closer to finishing your SLR paper. So keep the motivation going and start the timer to finish today's task. This task should take you 60 to 90 minutes because I want you to review five SLR papers and write around 200 words. My suggestion would be, if you find a sentence that you like, you should immediately write an equivalent sentence for your SLR paper, okay? So this way, you will finish this task on time and be more productive. Next, I will discuss the answer to this task, but before that, if you like this video series, then share it with other PhDs who may be struggling with writing a good quality research paper. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and press the bell icon. If you check the description of this video, you'll find a link to a timer video. When you are ready to start this task, click on that link and follow the timer to finish your task. All the best. Let's start this task in five, four, three, two, one. Now let me share the answer to this task. Have a look here. I'm showing you one example from one of my own SLR papers that I published recently. Here you can see I have four paragraphs and around 300 words. But I do not expect you to write so much. Even half of that is fine in the first instance. Now let's see what I have written here and break it down sentence by sentence. I have tagged each sentence to show what the sentence is about. So that will help you in understanding my writing structure. So this is the first sentence. EHR management challenges fall in three major areas of concern as described in figure three. So what is this sentence doing? This sentence is listing the main areas of concern. Let's look at the next sentence. Blockchain technology offers a promising solution to the data ownership, sharing, and audited trail of healthcare records. Now this sentence is telling that blockchain technology offers very promising solutions. So as you can see, I'm building the background with these two sentences. 
The next sentence. The stakeholder share EHR on a decentralized ledger in a transparent manner. The immutability of the records, provenance tracking, and the access control with smart contracts make this a better technology to manage the EHR system. So if you read this sentence, what I've done here is I have provided reasons why this technology is superior compared to other technologies that are available. Let's look at the next sentence. However, EHR management on the blockchain system is challenged with few performance issues as described in these references. So what I've done here is I have said that there are some challenges with this technology still. The next sentence I say few models and frameworks tried to address the performance issues like privacy and security and I've given the references for this and as you see I have then got four different sub points under this under this paragraph. Let's go through each of them. I've got four different points under this uh, under this paragraph so let's go through all of them. EHR transactions are high in volume and need to be stored on the distributed storage on the blockchain. So this is listing the challenge. The next sentence EHR transactions are personal medical records and their privacy is endangered with distributed storage. Again I list a challenge. The next one is EHR transactions are higher in volume and incur heavy on-chain computation. Another challenge. EHR exchanges on cross-chain systems imply the need for sharing over heterogeneous platforms, which is a significant challenge. So again, this sentence itself states that this is a challenge. The motivation of this work is twofold. We aim to outline and evaluate the different standards and techniques to achieve interoperability in EHR structure, storage, and sharing. So what am I saying here? So this sentence states the motivation and explains what is done in this paper. The existing literature shows the increase in the adoption of blockchain technology for the implementation of trusted, transparent EHR management systems with challenges. This sentence again reiterates the challenges and tries to further lay the foundation for explaining the motivation. Basically, this justifies the motivation further and explains why this research is important. The next sentence is, hence evaluation of blockchain based EHR management system is essential. So here, this sentence provide a justification. Again, a stronger justification. Okay, let's look at the next sentence. However, these decentralized EHR management systems lack scalability and offer less privacy to sensitive health data. This sentence is providing the reasoning. This work proposes a framework that offers better privacy, scalability, and cost over existing blockchain EHR management solutions with standardization of EHR structure and semi-centralized storage. This sentence mentions what this research will offer. Finally, the prototype is implemented and evaluated with experimental validation on a blockchain framework with smart contract. This sentence mentions what the research will be done in this SLR paper. So if you now were to analyze my writing, you will notice that I have given sufficient justification and reasoning to guide my motivation. I just didn't say that I want to do this research because it is interesting, but rather I formulated a proper foundation and then linked it to my motivation. If you would have just said that you want to do this research because it is interesting, then this section would have been very weak. You always need to think from the readers or the reviewers perspective. The first thing that they are going to think is why, you know, why do you need to do this research? If this part is strong, then they will be keen to read the rest of your paper. So keep that thing in mind. It's very important to have the motivation section backed up by gaps in the research literature. Okay. I hope this video was useful and you learned something new today. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with anyone who you think will benefit. After you complete this task, I have two video suggestions for you. If you want to check the next task, click the left video. Otherwise, click the right video for YouTube's recommendation. That's all in this video. Thank you very much.